Okay. Hey. All right. Hopefully you can see my screen. Um, my name is Ashley Smith, and I am a two-star team Beachbody coach. Um, and today I am going to share with you a little bit about how to create a Wufu form. <laughs> what a funny name, right? So sometimes as you get going um, into your coaching, you will find, or at least I found, that I got really overwhelmed with the amount of messages and things that I would have to say over and over and over again in the process of answering questions of asking questions and then answering and trying to get the same information from all these people that were interested in challenge groups or on the opposite side um, as coaches. So one of the things that I have found to be really, really useful um, in, in discussing with people about their goals and about their their aspirations and maybe why they want to be in a challenge group or why they want to be um, a coach on your team is to create this form. So. I am going to share with you how to create a Wufu form, and this just allows you to be able to have a series of questions that you already ask everybody, but instead of having to do it one at a time and going back and forth, asking a question and then waiting, um, you can quickly be able to just get all of their, <laughs> Siri thinks I'm talking to her, um, you'll be able to get all of their information all at once, and then be able to start that good conversation with them, whether it's through email or on Facebook or whatever it may be, whatever your style is. So if you're looking at my screen, um, I have, we are at Wufu, and I'll move it down a little bit, but the screen or the, the website is just wufu.com, um, W-U-F-O-O, and you're just going to log in. So you'll create a username and a password, and it is completely free. So don't worry about that. You don't have to pay for up to three forms. So for me, I have not had to to do um, to pay yet because I only needed two forms. I wanted to do my challenge group application, and then I also wanted to do my coach apprenticeship application. So it is very user friendly, very very easy. So you see right here that I'm um, I'm at Wufu. I'm at the home screen, and I click on forms. And if I didn't have anything there, you would just see nothing here, and you want to click on create a new form. So you'll click new form and it says no fields. You should add a field. Now, what that means is you are just creating what you want it to say. So for example, um, here you've got your untitled form and you see that you'll click here and type in, you know, Ashley's form, not from, form. <laughs> um, Ashley's form and then under here, I can say whatever I want, you know, welcome, so glad you are here something like that. Um, and you'll, I'll show you an example in a moment of the two of my actual forms. So I've created that and then I just click out. Now I want to go back when you're up here, you've got form settings that this is what you are editing of whatever form you are on, whatever part you are on. Then you go back to add a field. Whenever you want to add anything is how it goes. The fancy pants down here, this is the stuff that's already done for you, like name. Duh, you're going to want to know their name, so add that first. Address, not so much. You don't need their address right now. You're just getting preliminary information from these people who are interested in, in a challenge group or as a coach. You don't need their address. That's creepy. Email, an email would be great <laughs> so that you can contact them again. Phone number, I wouldn't say anything about that, but the next thing I would say is to have um, – a place where they can put their social media accounts. So instead of continuing to create this form, I'm going to go back to the ones that I've already created. But this is how you work. This is how you add in the different forms. And a form is just the different um, the different sections that you do. There's multiple choice. There's drop down menus, check boxes, numbers, anything like that. This is a single line text. And then when it says paragraph text. A paragraph text will be bigger and you can still it allow you it allows you to write whatever you want above it so let me go back to forms over here we want to leave this page okay here is my challenge group application and I am just going to go to edit so that I can show you what it looks like okay so up here I've said something very simple you know I can't wait to get to know you better and figure out a game plan to help you reach your goals Please, 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 wow, I cannot talk. Please fill out this form to be considered for my next group. So something very, very simple, and you can choose to do something very similar or something that sounds more like you. It's totally up to you. Now, to give you an idea of things that you want to know um, from these people is 
you can think about what is important to you and then also kind of pull from some of the questions that I have asked as well that I have pulled from other top coaches above myself that were great questions to know. And I think about what I want what I usually talk to people about, talk to them about their goals. I talk to them about, you know, how do they find me? You know, what's their nutrition like? Everything that I would need to know to kind of, you know, be able to support them the best I can and also give them a better suggestion of what kind of program or um, Shakeology and all that kind of stuff that would support them the best. So again, just like this, you know, I started with the name, I added the name in, and I added the email. Then here, I wanted to do a multiple choice. I want to know if they have a coach. The reason that I asked them this is because I don't want to step on any toes. I don't want to take a challenger from somebody who may already have a coach they're working with. Sometimes it may be an experience where maybe they're not having a good experience working with the coach they have, or maybe um, they've never been reached out to, and that might be a different story. But your main goal is to never steal somebody from someone, um, no matter what, if they're not on your team, or especially if they're not, <laughs> if they're on your team. But definitely, you know, not even if they're on a different team, you know, we want to hold ourselves to a level of respect. So you ask them if they're a beach body coach or not. And that is where I, I went here and I created a multiple choice here. And it's just one column and then I was able to add the different questions that I wanted. And if I wanted to add another one, I would just add a plus sign or a minus sign. And then I go down and I ask them a little bit about their goals. You know, what do they struggle most with when it comes to their fitness and nutrition? Everyone has a place where they struggle, even if they are as fit as can be, um, whether it's being consistent with their workouts, whether it's their nutrition um, or eating right or having cravings for sweets or sugar or whatever it is. So hopefully that they'll be able to share a little bit about that with you so you can either relate or um, be able to kind of help them a little bit more. Here I asked them about their nutrition. This just gives me a background. I want to know what their eating habits are like, you know, not to judge them, but to know so that I can better suggest Shakeology and and some other programs that maybe have a more specific meal plan like the 21 day fix or like max 30 things like that um here i want to know what motivates them you know why why are they wanting to do this and then i go down and i create more um more what's this called <laughs> um multiple choice sections for them you know asking them about the different workouts and shakeology so basically you can see it's very very simple this took me maybe 20 minutes to create and the biggest thing is just knowing how to add the different fields and you can make it look however you want. You can even add in files on there, you know, you can add in different things, but this is simple. You know, this is your first step in getting to hear from them and then you're going to start that conversation that really gets them going as far as learning about them and then getting them into the right to the right group. So, that's um, a challenge group application and it's very very similar for what I do when I have a coach apprenticeship application, you know, I tell them a little bit about myself, you know, what my rank is as a coach, how long I've been doing this, and I tell them also about our team, you know, Team Inspiration Above Us is one of the top 10 teams. That's amazing. So share that with them. And then, um, and then you go through and you create your coach apprenticeship application, very similar name, email, asking them about their social media so that you could, you know, reach out to them there. Um, and, and also be able to follow them and kind of be able to add them places, you know, it's just nice to have that information. You know, then I asked them about, you know, programs that they've used and what excites them most about being becoming a coach. Do they have a coach already? Because again, same thing falls. You don't, you, your goal is to not take them from somebody, you know, it happens, but, or they might have a coach they sign on with a challenge pack and then maybe they feel led to be on your team and that you know it happens so but we just again we want to be as consistent and as respectful of other coaches as as possible then down here i have them rate different statements you know there's always a reason why someone wants to be a coach it could be because of their their want for the discount just for Shakeology or because they actually want to do something with coaching. You know, they are really passionate about it or they want to make an extra income for their family so that they can stay home. And then I tell them, you know, to tell me a little bit about their goals and then their why and, you know, and how ready they are for to become a coach. You know, these are things that sometimes you don't even get to 
talking about for you know weeks sometimes for me if I'm if I'm messaging back and forth and back and forth so this has been a really great way for me to quickly get some of that valuable information from people and then be able to um, to then have that background to go into my conversations to create really valuable conversations with them and and have a background of what their goals already are before um, before we start talking about a bunch of stuff so and as you as you get more traction and have more challenges and more people reaching out um, more often, this is something that will really save you a lot of time and a lot of effort as far as how, how much, <laughs> how much um, messaging you're going to have to do back and forth because for the longest time I did not do this and I had a lot of similar conversations that I was having with a lot of people all at once and it was going back and forth from one question to the next and, and this is, has been really, really nice to have all their information. So. Hopefully this helped you, and if not, or you're still confused about how to create one, please let me know. Um, and that's about all I have for you. So, okay, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully this helped you. All right, bye.